Okay, in this video we are going to focus more on our formulas to find the circumference, the radius, or the diameter of circles. So one thing you're going to need out is your star reference material because on your star reference material, under circumference of a circle, they give you two options. C equals 2 pi r or C equals pi d. So the first step is to know what in the world are they talking about with all these letters. So we have to remember C stands for circumference. Is, is my equals. 2 pi is, remember we're using the value of 3 rounded. R is radius. So again, what they're looking for is circumference, oh you can't see that, let me write down here, circumference is, well, what's 2 times 3, 6 radius. Well on the previous video, remember we had talked about, we found this relationship between circumference and diameter, circumference and radius. So when we drew this picture, we talked about how it takes 6 radius to make one full circumference. Well, that's exactly what this says. Circumference is 6 radius. They just make it into a smaller format and you need to know C is the other, I'm sorry, C stands for circumference. The pi means 3, or for level 1 you're 3.14, and R means radius. For the other formula, same idea. C stands for circumference equals, it's the same as is, there's that pi symbol again, remember pi is just 3, d is diameter, so circumference is 3, the diameter. Okay, let's look back to our relationship we found. Now looking at diameter, we had found there's a relationship between diameter and circumference. To equal one circumference, you need 3 diameter. Well, this formula says the same thing. Circumference is three times, basically, your diameter. So we're going to use these when we are trying to solve problems that either ask for circumference, ask for radius, or ask for diameter. And what we're going to do on this video is show you when to use the formulas and how to use them. So we have questions that we did in class that we're going to go over again here on this video to give you some extra practice. Richie knows the diameter of the tires on his bike. Which method can he use to find the circumference? So the first thing I notice is I don't have a circle. So I'm going to start with drawing a circle so that I just remember what parts I'm looking at. It says that he knows the diameter. Well, remember diameter goes across, so he knows the diameter. What method can we use to find circumference? That tells me that I don't know the circumference and I need to find it. Well, notice my answer choices. They're not numbers. I'm not finding the actual answer. I'm finding the method, how to get there. Well, I'm ignoring my answer choices at first. And what I'm going to look at is my formulas. Remember that this formula highlights the radius. This formula highlights diameter. So what I'm going to go back to my question and look at is, do I have radius, do I have diameter, or am I looking for radius, or am I looking for diameter? In this case, it says he knows the diameter. Going back to my formula, I want to choose the one that talks about diameter, so I'm looking for that D. So my formula that I'm going to write down is C equals pi d. Remember that means circumference is three times your diameter. Now they didn't give me a number for diameter because they're just asking how do I get there. Well this is how I get there. A says to multiply the diameter by pi. Well what would that look like? If I multiply, multiply the diameter by pi, I can put them side by side. Well do those look familiar? Yes, they're just flip-flop. This would still be pi times d, which is just 3 times your di diameter, 
This one would be diameter times pi, diameter times 3, same thing. There's our maybe. B says multiply the radius by pi. Okay, so radius by pi would look like this. Is that what my formula looks like? No. And even if I were to have pulled the other formula, notice it's 2 pi r. So I'm still missing a 2 in this formula if I were to find radius. So this one is incorrect. The next one says multiply diameter by 2. Okay, so I'm going to multiply diameter times 2, so 2d. Side by side you multiply. Then multiply by pi, so let's put it side by side again. Well, does that look like this? No. It's starting to look like that 2 radius pi, but no, they put that diameter in there. Okay, and the last one says divide the diameter by 2, then multiply by pi. So they could say diameter divided by 2, and then multiply it by pi. Well, a better way to write it, and probably the way you'll see it written, is divide diameter by 2. Because remember that line that reminds you of a fraction means divide, and then multiply it by pi. Well, do those look alike? No. So your best answer is going to be A. The next one, number two, we're going to ask for the actual answer. It says, Renee made a new game spinner to replace the one she lost. Her circular piece of poster board measured 18 centimeters around. About how long was the spinner arrow? Okay, first I need to look at, do I have a circle? No. I'm talking about a circle, so I want to draw my circle. I look in my question and I find her circular piece of poster board measured 18 centimeters around. Around is a key word for circumference. That means coming around all the way. Circumference is 18 centimeters. About how long was the spinner arrow? We have to think, okay, what's a spinner? If I have a game piece and I have a spinner in the board, it's connected in the middle and I have usually an arrow that goes out to the side. Well, if I'm connected in the middle going out to the side, remember that is my radius, and that is what I'm looking for. So I go back to my star reference chart, and again, I have my two formulas. This one talks about radius with the R. This one talks about diameter with the D. So I have to think, do I have radius, or am I looking for radius? Do I have diameter, or am I looking for diameter? Well, on this one, I'm looking for radius, so I want to choose the one that has the R, because that's going to help me find my answer. So my formula is going to be C equals 2 pi R. Now all I have to do is plug in numbers to replace the letters, and here's how we do that. C stands for circumference. Do I have a circumference? Does the question give me the circumference? This right here says circumference is 18 centimeters, so my answer is yes, I have circumference. So I'm replacing the C with the 18. Equals, I just bring down the 2, I don't do anything with that. Remember we said the value of pi is rounded to 3. We know it's a little bit more. Do I have R? Well, remember, R is what I'm looking for. I don't know the number there yet, so I'm just going to bring R down. Now I have an equation. 18 equals 2 times 3 is 6. We don't know R, so I'm left with bringing it down to 6R. So I'm still looking for radius. This is very similar to questions we've seen in 4th and 5th grade where it's missing problems or missing number. We used to show it with a box. Now we're showing it with a letter. All that says is, well, what times 6 gives me 18? Well, I have a couple different ways I can say that. I can look at, okay, 18 divided by 6 will give me R. Or I can simply just say, what times 6 gives me 18? Well, I know 6 times 3 this should be a 3, 
gives me 18, so I know that my radius is 3, and we were talking about centimeters, so my answer is A. Okay, number three, I want you to pause the video and try one for yourself. Get out your, make sure your star chart's out, and then um, come on back and we'll check together. Okay, so number three, you should have tried on your own. It says Simon cuts a slice of pizza, which is five centimeters from the center to the edge. Again, I don't have a circle. I need to draw one. Here's my circle. My question says they have a slice of pizza five centimeters from the center to the edge. If I go from the center to the edge, what part of the circle is that? That's my radius, and they said it's five centimeters. So I know my radius is five centimeters. They're asking for what would be the circumference. So remember, circumference goes all the way around. Circumference is what I'm looking for. So again, I go back to my star chart. I have two to choose from. I'm given radius this time, and I definitely want the formula that has the R in there. So let's go ahead and write our equation down. C equals 2 pi R. And we're just going to fill in the numbers we know. C stands for circumference. Do I know circumference? No, that's what I'm looking for, so I'm going to leave it as C because I don't know what to replace it with yet. 2, just bring on down the 2. Pi, remember we're rounding that to 3. And I'm putting parentheses just because I want to separate it from the 2. R is 5 centimeters. I do know what my radius is, so I'm going to plug in my 5. Now it turns into simple multiplication. 2 times 3 is 6. I still have that 5. 6 times 5 is 30 centimeters. Okay, number 4, I want you to pause the video, try it on your own, come back with me, and we will check it together. Okay, so you should have paused the video. Again, we have a circle problem and no circle, so I'm going to start with a circle. We have a clock and we're looking for a gift box to put it in. We're looking at the approximate width. Well, if I'm talking width, I'm talking from side to side, which means I'm looking at the diameter. They give me circumference of 60 centimeters, so I know circumference is 60 centimeters. I do not know the diameter. That is what I am looking for. So my diameter is my question. So looking at my star material again, I have two that I can choose from. My formula here is looking for radius. My formula here is diameter. So I want to look for the one with diameter. So that would be C equals pi d. Do I know my circumference? Yes, they gave it to me. It's 60. Remember that pi is 3. d, do I know? No, that's what I'm looking for, so bring it down. Again, we're left with the same problem. 60 equals 3 times something. Something needs to go in that d. I can either think, okay, 60 divided by 3, or what times 3 gives me 60. Well, I know 20 times 3 gives me 60, so D would be 20 centimeters.